It's a wonderful day to wander, isn't it, Dash? Oh my goodness, what is Daddy doing? Daddy Sherpa is tired. Marathon training is in full swing right now. I've got the first one coming up in a couple of weeks, which I'm gonna bring y'all along for. It's the Barcelona Marathon. It takes place in the middle of March or so. Um, so that's gonna be fun. International marathons are fun for lots of reasons, but um, priority one is just getting uh, trained up enough to be able to complete it. So how far did you run today? Uh, uh, today I ran 10. Okay, that's impressive. Hold on though. You're having a thing over here. What is this really loud noise? I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's the laundry machine. So I put some towels in there this morning before we went for our run. So for some context, it typically takes Dana like an hour and a half to run 10 miles and I did five. Took about 45 minutes because Daniel actually paced me this morning, Woo! which was really freaking awesome. And so I ran five miles in a 930 minute pace, which is insane for me. Um, but so that's how long it's been since we've been at that apartment. And so it means that that laundry has been in for at least two hours. Oh my goodness, really? Yes, and that is more in alignment with oh how long I expect a European washing machine to take. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. I'm learning something new. Right no, now. usually it takes forever. <laughs> Anytime we did laundry in Germany, it took forever. But I put it on a really. I put it on a higher setting um, when I put towels in than I have been doing with our clothes. So who is knows it like when it will be mode? done? It it's turbo I mean, it sounds like turbo mode. Is it? Does it have like? I have not even remotely looked at our washing machine, but does it have weird symbols like the oven, like the bacon symbol and the bacon, the triangles and stuff? <laughs> No, no, not really, okay. but it is all in Spanish. Okay. okay. Obviously. Yeah. Easier than German. At this least we're practicing Spanish. 100% The German true. washing machine was in German, so it's yeah. very difficult. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Eat? We, we have to eat. Yeah, I'm starving. So. Okay, let's go. Okay. That doesn't look like going. I know. I'm so tired. <laughs> Personal problem. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Energy is coming from somewhere. Or another coffee. 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 Uh. So, a couple of days ago, when we were going to the vegan junk food place, we passed by a place called Pizza Local. Um, and we've not been there yet. And since we both ran like a bajillion solid miles this morning, pizza feels like a really appropriate lunch. I agree. So we're gonna check that out. And I checked on Google, it has really good reviews. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, how about the pictures? They look good too. I didn't actually look at the pictures. Well, it's local, it's, it's pizza. It's local. I mean, we have to go. Yeah, we, we have to. I guess we'll just find out when we get there. See, I've been currently wearing my running shoes, which obviously look like they've got some serious miles on them. These, on the other hand, I'm excited about that. Literally, we've been here almost two and a half weeks now, and I've been looking for a pair of shoes like that. So that's pretty great. What do you think, Dash? Are you excited about my new shoes? You're so excited. You really care. Yeah. <laughs> He's really excited about pizza. Every break you drink. Every while you break. Every while you fade. Every claim you stay. I want you new. True story, every time we come through this plaza, there's always live music and, and just really cool things to see. Um, and today is of 
no exception. And 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 of course, Dash's favorite, little birdies everywhere. Bird hit the jackpot there with some bread. Okay, we made it. Let's take it out. Somebody loves pizza. And that somebody is me. But also Dash. And also Mommy. I mean, who doesn't love pizza? Hello, Barada Appetizer. Oh my gosh, look at that cheese. Dash, tell us how you feel. Do you want some of that? <laughs> Say, please. Oh. <laughs> I bet he can eat one of those pieces of bread. <laughs> They're big fans. Huge fan. This is delicious. Dash likes it too. I can already tell us in places. And the pizza just got here. That is red onions, red peppers. Yum. No. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm, look at that. And there's the dip that we're absolutely demolishing right now, along with <laughs> some of the delicious bread. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna let me take out a piece here without. Oh. I haven't even had a taste yet, and he already wants his cut. Literally. He's like, where's my cut? Oh gosh. Okay, well, that's gonna be difficult one handed here. <laughs> that is not gonna work. Okay. Show us your daddy eating skills. Yes. You can always spot a New Yorker. Because the first thing we do is take a pizza like this. Mm -hmm. pizza. Mm -hmm. Now, I was born in New York and I didn't live there very long. The first couple of years. But my parents are from New York, I spent a lot of time there. So, where are the pizza folders? How's your folded pieces of pizza? Delicious. When it comes to Italian restaurants, tiramisu is my ultimate favorite dessert, and they had a homemade one here. Tell me you wouldn't have ordered this. Look at those lady finger layers. OMG. Complete the picture. Right? Oh my god, I'm so excited. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. This place is wonderful. So Daniel said he didn't want any, and then I gave him a bite, and then he kept the spoon. Mm. Mm. You have your own spoon now. <laughs> that is true. Mm -hmm. So you're a fan. Mm -hmm. I Right. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's where the magic happens. Your favorite pizza place in Barcelona? So pumped. That was incredible. We will absolutely be back here. We're walking back to the flat and the sun 
is out. It's been it's been hiding all day. Um, it is amazing how the temperature changes so much when the sun's out. Um, it could be 50, and if it's overcast, it feels like colder. Colder, right? <laughs> but then when the when then when it's not overcast and you have clear skies like it is right now, it feels so much warmer. It feels and, like my coat is too much on its slip right now. Right? Yeah. 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 But. Sunshine. Sunshine. Yes. Oh yeah, that is pretty. For like the thousandth time, right? Like so, every day. It's good. Our apartment is on the fourth European floor, which means the fifth US kind of floor. So take a baby, 20 pounds for the baby, up these stairs multiple times a day. So it's good. Especially after a hard run. And run like that hard. Okay, well then you need to go faster then. <laughs> Oh, all right. Okay. Be honest. This door is really cool, right? <laughs> I mean, there's like an eye hole there. Or a, not eye hole. I don't know what you call this thing. You can see from the other side. It's just pretty. And then this thing pops out. Um, Things we don't have in the States. This is a doorknob. Look at this. I mean, it's like, it's not even near the nope. locking mechanism there. Yeah. Door inside a door. So, Dash is ready for a nap, um, but Daddy's ready for a nap too. Really excited to kind of crash a little bit, and then we'll tackle, you know, the downtown scene again. While the boys get their nap on, I'm gonna work. Oh, the joys of remote working. But honestly, I love what I do, so not disappointing. Up from her nap, called around, found a really fancy hair salon that actually had the same day appointment, which is unheard of. So we're going over there right now to get a haircut um, because it is time to tame this mop of a hair style that I got going on here, which is really hairstyle. It's just a mess at this point. So really looking forward to this. Hey Dash, are you gonna get your haircut too, dude? Say no. Mommy says no haircuts for babies until a year old Mama at will least. Let Dash get a haircut, yeah. We've got to apparently hit that one year mark, so that's kind of the milestone apparently for baby haircuts. Hundred percent. If you've had your baby haircut before a year old, drop a comment, let us know. I'm kind of curious what the whole like uh, thing is about babies and haircuts. It's not happening. Period. It's not happening. Look at this hair. How can you possibly cut it? It's so cute. Look at it. It's so cute. <laughs>
Just can't get enough of these shirts. Full hair. Okay, let me see your nose. I want to see inside of your nose. <laughs> Probably can help my running. Yeah. I didn't realize I had that much. I honestly didn't realize I had that much hair in my nose. I've never had my nose waxed in my life. I didn't even know it was an option, to be honest with you. I thought maybe, like, maybe an option would be, like, to trim your nose hairs, but getting your nose waxed? What? Okay, how much did it hurt? I have to know. Like on a scale of one to five flamingos. One. Really, probably like one. It didn't really hurt at all. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, there's a part of it that like, because it's your nose, it almost brings like a tear to your eye. You know? I mean, it's a very sensitive part, obviously. But I've never had anything waxed me properly. That's the first time ever, so. And money. Yeah. If you're if you're a guy and you've ever had absolutely like any part of your body wax, you don't have to tell me like which part. I don't want to. I want to know. If you ever had any part of your body waxed? Please let me know in a comment that I'm not alone. Um, I know it's very common for women to get like eyebrows waxed and all that stuff. So um, that's the first time for me. So, <laughs> but yeah, I feel amazing. I mean, the clean shave thing. I don't know what he was doing with like a. He had like a lasso. He was spinning. And it was creating like a, 
I don't really know. It was really, really cool. It was a different experience than what I've had back in the States. I was in the States, my absolute favorite place for a clean shave is gonna be Shave Cave in St. Petersburg, Florida. Uh, but once we left there, I haven't really found a lot of places to do a really good clean shave. So this place is definitely my favorite outside the US so far. I say so far because I wanna try getting clean shave in other cities as well. I will say one more thing. Um, I got a haircut, a very fine haircut with shampoo. Actually, you know what? And I walked out of there with, with this product as well. So haircut, shampoo, some product, a clean shave, and nose waxing for 100 euros. All of that for 100 euros. And I know maybe some people are thinking, maybe that's a lot, but really, Comparatively speaking, Lauren pays more than that for just a haircut, so I'm just saying, just throwing that out there. Uh, that's pretty darn good. Under the bus, man, I got thrown under the bus. What do you think about that, Dash? Did you get a good nap in, baby? Yeah. So true story, literally, last thing I'm gonna say. Um, it's probably the best place in Barcelona, legitimately. I went in there thinking I was probably gonna break the bank. I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I thought it does look that. It cool. looks super bougie, right? So I'm like, oh, we're going in here, and this is gonna hurt. Um, honestly, I was expecting a bill that was like three times that amount, just because of the the careful and meticulous, you know. Oh yeah, they really took care of you. They took your time. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and a couple of beers, literally, all for a hundred. Right. right. So that's pretty cool. We're big fans. Did you love it, Dash? Say yes, most definitely. Check out this rooftop bar up there. That looks cool. Hey. There are like one million places that we could go visit here. And it would take us at least a year to see all this stuff. All right, Dash, you know what to do, buddy. Ready? Boop, hit that button. We're gonna sit here until you hit that button right there. Hit you that got button. it, dude. You got it, dude. Hit that button. You got this. Right there, dude. Look, Dash. Oh, we better start. <laughs> You got it, dude. Winning. Did you get that button? Yeah. Okay, Mr. Fernandez, with a fresh new do, what's the plan for the evening, sir? The plan is Daddy Sherpa is a little tired. Been running all those miles. So I would prefer just crash for the evening, take it easy, super chill, tackle the day again tomorrow. All right, well then in that case, what are our friends supposed to do? What we need you to do is we need to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you ring that bell so you're notified when our next video drops tomorrow. But until then, friend, make sure you wander local because as you know, it's good for the soul. Is that right, Dash? Is it good for the soul? Yes! Until tomorrow! Adios! <laughs>